have to stop thinking about John. And my that was me on One Life to Live. Um, That's right. I, uh, I had just moved to New York City. Um, I, I was doing The Lion King and I had an audition for a soap opera, a soap opera that I used to watch as a little girl, by the way. <laughs> I used to literally set my alarm clock, this is how pathetic it was, at like noon <laughs> to wake up in time for all my children and one life to live in General Hospital. <laughs> yes. Everyone that I've interviewed who's ever appeared on a soap opera has said that it's fantastic training ground for either the stage or film. Girl, it is. It is. Uh, and especially, I mean, anywhere in Los Angeles and New York. I mean, I, I, General Hospital is still on and some of my favorite actors in the world are on that show. And some of my favorite actors in the world are actors that I grew up with on daytime. Uh, in New York City in particular, the you know, there are no soap operas here anymore, sadly. Yeah. But uh, that was the day job. Soap operas were the day, the day job. job. It was all theater actors at night. And they would do, they would cameo on soap operas throughout the day. The history, Judith Light, Felicia Rashad. Mm -hmm. I mean, the history of people, of, of the great actors of this world that came through soap operas. Tika That's Sumter, true. I don't know if you know her. She's, uh, yes. she played my sister on the show and she's yes. killing it. She did. Yes. She, did. Yes. she, she came on because uh, my character blew up and they decided that I could get a sister. You know, you get more family members the more fans you have. And so they brought me a younger, cuter sister, which I didn't appreciate until, <laughs> like, Wait a until I met Tika Sumper that I was like, okay, okay. <laughs>